Hello guys, this is Detila and welcome back to another episode of our single player survival here in our single player survival world. This is our 20th episode. Now, I can tell you right now, this doesn't happen a lot on my channel. Normally, any series I do gets below 20 episodes and if it ever gets to its 20 episode, it normally ends, but that will not be happening here. So, I'm sorry for the large gap in time in between episodes, I've been struggling to produce well as many videos recently, simply because I've been putting a lot of time into other projects and well yeah I've been having some issues but we're going to be getting back to it so for the likes of this series we're going to from here on out we're going to be going for a kind of low effort style of things. Now, by that, I don't mean that I'm not going to really put much work into it. I'm still going to put as much work into it as I did before. I'm just going to be making them in a much faster way. So, instead of spending, say, a few hours on one episode, so say maybe four or five hours in one episode, I am going to spend, say, maybe about an hour at the most per episode. And about anything else I need to do, I can do that off camera, such as AFKing in between, well, recording sessions and stuff. So this means I'll be recording multiple episodes at once, which will, yeah, I, I think that's a little bit better off. But yeah, before we get into today's project, because we're starting a new project today, well, I'd like to say thank you again for 1,000 subscribers. We covered the last episode briefly, but yeah, 1,000, 1,000 of you are now watching. Now, some of you, oh, my voice went there. <laughs> most, of, most of you guys don't actually watch this series, but... If, if you do, make sure to hit that like button and, well, tell me in the comment section down below. So, this map right here, we need to update it because, as you can see, we haven't updated it since we've done all of that work over there. In fact, since we put up the mobs system. So, yeah, you can't see any of our work. So, what we need to do is, well, there you go. Hold well on. Goodbye. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no, that's not quite how it works. Um, that doesn't look quite right. Oh, does it? No, it doesn't. So let's head on over. Oh yeah, we just had to get a, get a little bit closer to update it. There we go, perfect. Yeah, as you may see by the render distance and stuff, we've been having a little bit of issues on my end. I'd, I think it's about time for an upgrade. Yeah, this system was only meant to be temporary. It's just this process, everything else is fine. So yeah, um, put that back, thank you. As you can see, we have done quite a lot of work. That bit's a little bit funny. But today, we're going to be moving away from this area. I want to get a kind of, well, a farming area established because having all the kills over there in that little hole, it just isn't good to cut it anymore. And I want to be able to not just farm um, friendly mobs, but obviously all of your other types of stuff. Not everything though, even though we have a little farm here, this is all good and dandy, but we need something a little bit bigger. So we're going to be making large wheat fields and stuff. So, you may be wondering, where are we going to be putting that? Well, as you can see, this map is quite big, and I've explored, oh, well, a bigger area than this, let's just say that. But yeah, we're going to be settling this little farming village up here. So up by that lake right there. So that is just over here. So if we just try and get off the ground. Okay, maybe not. Do I have my elytra on? Yeah, it's been a little bit of time since I, there we go, since I am um, played on this world. So I'm a little bit rusty. So over on this area right here, so around this lake. So we're gonna to need to do a little bit of terraforming. So basically cutting back these hills, filling in all of these little holes for the lakes and the caves. We're going to be keeping a little bit of distance from this, um, all these hills and stuff. Because there's going to be another project in there in the near future. So we're going to be keeping it on this side of it. So we're not going to be going past, let's say, this bit of the hill right there. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to do some terraforming. Because, well, you know how that is and it can be very, very boring. Trust me. And I guess we can bring some shulker boxes of well filled materials over and we can get started on building this thing. 
What I think we're going to be doing first, we're going to be making a kind of animal pen. It's probably a good idea. So, let's do it. Okay guys, so I've done a bit of terraforming, not much, but I've brought the land back quite a distance. And well, I've kind of flattened it out up here because up here is where we want to be building our animal pen. Now we have a large assortment, assortment, is that the word? Yes. A large assortment of blocks in my inventory that we are going to be using for this thing. So, it's not good to be just a standard animal pen, so we're not going to be making it square or um, rectangular shaped, it's going to be circular. Now we'll get to that in a little moment. And also, just for detail's sake, we are going to be doing some um, fun things with the ground. So, what we're going to be using is so we're going to be using some coarse dirt, dirt, gravel, so sand and the path block. Now I would be using some pods all as well, but we don't ha currently have a supply of that. So we're going to need to come in here at a future date and basically update it with all of the stuff we'll get then. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is I'm I'm stuck in between using either the spruce or the dark oak wood. So I think I'm probably going to go with the dark oak wood. Because, well, spruce seems a bit too light for this, whereas the dark oak seems like it's a little bit more dried out. And, well, since this is a farm, obviously the wood and stuff that's going to be used in the fences won't be replaced very often. Because this is a more kind of medieval style to farm, not a kind of modern one, more medieval. So, the wood's more dried out, it's more old looking. Uh, since we are speaking like that, let's see what the blocks will actually look like because I'm not just having the the um, the logs like that. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking, say maybe a mixture of the dark oak and the we'll go with the dark oak slabs on top, and the actual fence blocks will be made out of spruce. Kind of adds some more colours into the build. Yeah, that sounds about right. Now, I've been playing a lot of modded recently, so um, now we're into some a little bit of chatting whilst we build this thing, so relax and enjoy. So, I've been playing a lot of modded recently, and, well, as you can see by the content I've been having up on the channel, well, that's one of the reasons why we've been struggling to produce, well, episodes for uh, many different series. One, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, if you're, if you're wondering what's been happening, that's it. I must apologise for that. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, too small. And, well, since I've been playing a certain mod pack, I've playing the full craft mod pack, I've been instantly thinking about all the mods, and, well, even in this play session, I've been thinking about, oh, I can use this mod to do this. No, we're playing normal. <laughs> we're playing vanilla. You can't do that here, unfortunately. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'll place another one. Yeah, it's going to be a kind of square design to start off with, then we'll start rounding off the edges and stuff. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, we're going to need to do a little bit of terraforming there just to compensate. And here we have it. So that is an adequate area. And in fact, let's just do that terraforming now. So I'll just show you the way I've done it. Well, the way I terraform. I think I showed you it briefly last episode. Maybe not, it's been some time since I recorded that. My apologies. And that's about do it. Knock out these flowers, we're not. No, no, not, no flowers. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye bye. No, go away, there we go. Right, so, since, oh, okay, that was strange. My apologies. Now, the, what I'm thinking is, should we go f with a solid fence or should we do something similar to what we did with the little fence highlights we have on the gravel pathway back towards spawn? I'm not entirely sure. So, we have a middle block, so here. So, I'm thinking maybe we do something like this. Or do we bring it out? We'll bring it out a bit more. And this will be an entrance, and put away my axe, there we go. And... Well, 
we won't come back as far on this side. So it's got it's not going to be perfectly circular. It is oh my throat is going, my apologies. It's going to be more of an oval shape. Just adding a little bit of character to the build. And we need to make up some stuff so if we can actually get this away. So we're going to go with spruce fences. Wrong thing. And there we go. So dark oak for that. And do we have enough spruce? Yes, we do. And we'll use the typical oak. And we'll make a bunch of this. And should that suffice? Um, that will have to do for now. Okay, right, let's quickly do this because I'm trying to keep these episodes, as I said, um, as I say in every other episode we do, kind of under 20 minutes. And we're already halfway through today's episode. So let's get straight on with it, shall we? So we'll kind of come out to blocks, bring it up. Yeah, that seems about right. Do the same. I guess we could actually make some of these blocks um, a different type. So maybe mix some um, dark oak in there too, just so we kind of make it look as if it's also been worn down by the weather or something like that. I don't know. I, I just um, play the game. <laughs> and bring it in like this. Uh, yeah, this is pretty large actually. I think this is larger than what we already have for the mobs. Do something like that, or we could put a gate on there. And well, since this is going to be going like this, we'll do something like that. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Let us sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Yes, I'm spamming torches around. Don't, don't worry about it. No, that's not good. Okay, well, let's organize the inventory so we can better make this next part also this this shovel may cause us difficulties building because we'll have to replace a lot of things hopefully not though hopefully not come on go over okay maybe not that trick sometimes works not all the time though okay so we'll mix in some soul sand and and round things we kind of not go for any particular pattern so no um I, I don't know how to word that yeah let's just <laughs> we'll just place things and um, look at it as we go it's probably the best thing that we could do and something like this mix in some close dirt and places so we'll do something like this yeah, that's adding plenty of texture to it, and we'll do this kind of more frequently than we would place everything else. And hmm, yes, this is um, this is looking, yeah, it's already looking interesting as you can tell. So place in that. Oh come on. Yeah, that's the thing with putting torches in your offhand, they, they can actually get in the way, sometimes. Wrong thing. Uh, and let's see, we'll place... Oh, come on, let me... Okay, maybe not. Um... <laughs> yeah, this is, this is how you build, you kind of rush through it, place a bunch of random blocks, and... Yeah, you basically see what um, comes out of it, and then we'll add some random patches of the path block. It kind of makes it look like more well mud, actually. But you just don't want to place it too often, or else it kind of brightens up too much. And up here we could do with some more soul sand. Yeah, actually that's looking pretty good. Now if we put a mixture of pods all in there, then it should look interesting. Now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring over some livestock. So I've got to bring over a few kills. So say maybe four should do it. Kill off the rest. And then we'll, we'll see how this looks and we'll end the episode. 
Okay, so I managed to get some some kills over here. It was pretty easy. All I did, did no, did. All I did was I broke a hole. Well, well, I dug out a block from the the pit we had all the kills in over there. I was holding wheat in my hand, and they all burst out. So I, I got a few at once, and I used some leads to well grab four. So at least we had four over here. I just bred them up and I will continue to do that off camera and hopefully by next time we should have a kind of larger um, population of kills and it just means that I can kill off all the kills back at the, um, the old place and we can get a better food supply than fish. But yeah, looking at this design from above, as it doesn't look complete quite yet, it will be complete once we impl implement some pods all. Simply because of the fact that the yeah having all of the different colours like the soul sand and the path blocks is good. Having the pods out in there kind of bridges them between the path blocks, the soul sand and even the grass. So yeah, it's, it's looking pretty good. But guys, I'm afraid that is it for this episode. Yeah, it's, it's went in pretty quick and we haven't really done much. But when you look at the big picture, we have started a new, well, this is technically a new base, but not really, it's just, um, as I said earlier in the series, building little villages and towns around the world, each producing their own different things, and this is the start of our first one. But yeah guys, as always, if you like this episode, please make sure to hit that like button, and if you really enjoyed it and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.